Hi everyone, Dom Designs here and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will teach you how to create a three-dimensional text effect in Adobe Illustrator. So let's dive into this right away. All right guys, so this is what we're gonna start off with. We're gonna start off by creating a 1920 by 1080 pixel canvas in Adobe Illustrator, as you can see here. First thing we're gonna do is go to the T over here which is a type tool and type in the word of your choice. I'll be using the word fresh like so. I'm going to center it to our canvas and resize it by holding shift and option on my keyboard like so. Next, I'm going to change the font to Cathan. I put the link in the description so you could download this font off thefont.com. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna outline this font. So I'll do Command Shift O on my keyboard. And as you can see, it turned our font into a shape. Next up, we're gonna unite these shapes together with the Pathfinder right over here and click on Unite. Perfect. Now we're going to double click on the F and by holding down shift on your keyboard, we're going to make it slightly bigger like so. And let's push it over to the right a little bit and double click anywhere on the canvas to let go. For the next step, we're going to go to the object path and offset path. And make sure your units are about 18 pixels of size. And click on OK. We're then going to unite these two shapes together with the Pathfinder. Right over here and click on Unite. Now what this does is it automatically groups everything together. So we're going to right click and click on Ungroup. And then we're going to take this bigger shape, right click it, arrange and send it to back. Next up, let's select the inner shape and with the eyedropper tool, it's basically eye on your keyboard, I'll click on the canvas to give it a white color. For the next step, we're going to take the shape behind and go to edit, copy, and then back to edit and paste them back. So now with this extra copy, we're just going to move it down a little bit to the right, like so. We're then going to select these two shapes and go to the object menu, blend, and then make. We're going to go back to the object menu, go back to blend and then blending options. And we're going to select specified steps and give this a large number like 30. As you can see, it created a sort of 3D effect. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the object menu and we're going to click on expand and then click on OK. As you can see, there are about 30 copies of the illustration created together. So we're going to go directly to the Pathfinder tool and we're going to click on Unite. And now we have one big shape that looks like it's three dimensional. Now what I don't like is that there's these white holes within our shape. So let's double click it. And since this is a compound path, all you have to do is click on these and delete them. And let's go back to our canvas. So we already have something pretty nice shaping up. Now let's play around with the color. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to give this a nice dark gradient. So let's double click on it. Select the gradient. And we'll click on linear. Let's make sure it goes from up to down like so. And then with our colors chosen, we're going to give these two darker toned reds or pinks, I should say. 
like so. Not too bad. Now, let's go back to the fresh text in white and go back to the object menu and do path, offset path, and leave it at 18. And click on OK. Perfect. So what we're going to do is, once again, we're going to unite these together with the Pathfinder tool. We'll click on Unite. And for this, we're going to give it a gradient as well. And this time it'll be the lighter color. Like so. Let's just click on it. And let's send it to back. And let's click the bottom shape right over here and send it to back. For the next step is I would like to get rid of these holes that are in our shape. Let's double click on it and just click on these to delete them. This is looking not too bad. For the final step, we're going to select the white text once again. We're going to go to the edit, copy, and then go back to edit and paste him back. And we're going to move it to the right and to the bottom. And with the eyedropper tool, I'm going to select the darker tone to copy it. This is looking fantastic. Now I find that this part is a little bit too thick and we're actually going to remove the gradient. So for that, I'll just click on the color swatch right over here. And I'm just going to play around with this so it's less prominent. Like so. Not too bad. All right, so now I'll create a new layer and place it behind. I'm actually going to name it background. Let's lock our original layer. Now in this background layer, we're going to add a color. So I'm going to select the rectangle tool and click anywhere and give it a 1920 by 1080 pixel size. Let's center it. And this time we're going to give it a nice light blue gradient. So we're going to go to our gradient panel and this time we're going to click on radial. And for the light color, we'll select this light blue. And then we're going to select this darker blue and place it right over here. Fantastic. Let's lock the background layer and go back to layer one. And for the final step is I want to give this a nice little drop shadow. So let's select the shape in the back. We're going to go to effect, stylize, drop shadow. Now you can play with the units right over here until you get something you like. So I'm just going to drop the opacity like so and play with the offset and the blur until I get something I like like this. And there you have it. This is how to create a stylized text effect in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel for many more tutorials to come. Cheers everyone.